What's up, guys? Gold Banks. Uh, I mean, I think I probably already going to say this in the video, so it's whatever. But we're here, and I'm just going to talk about why, quickly, why Totemic Kotokan could be considered the better of the two, or at least, like, you know, really fuck with it now compared to before. And the short answer really is Meter Burn Cat. It's amazing. Um, it has, it does 17, well, usually it does 16%, you know, but like, sometimes you get in the sweet spot where the cat hits him twice in the beginning or whatever. It has great corner carry. Uh, it has great corner carry and stuff like that. Um, if you have the execution or you don't fear dropping it, you can get the, the nice little uh, BNB into some good corner carry. I don't really use it too much online because sometimes it's, it's, it's a little nutty. But um, the frame data on it, I guess I should go over. Um, I should have just put it on. It's negative 12 on block, not meter burn, but then it's uh, negative 8, so it's safe if it is meter burn. I mean, somebody can punish it with a 7 frame jab or a 6 frame down one like Gears, but like, odds are they're going to try to like do like a standard punish. They're not going to be like frame perfect with it, and you can get like a, a poke in there or something like that, or you can loose it up, uppercut, something like that. You know, like that, that's basically what I do after... There's no reason to not meter burn it. This variation also has the, the air cat, which I don't use too much because you want to meter burn that to also make it safe. And then the um, the totem, I don't use this much because what I really like use this variation for is like the wake up game to keep the opponent guessing and stuff like that. The second one, the ascension variation, I usually use it for whiff punishing and stuff like that. But this one is all about the wake up game. So. What I try to do is keep you guessing on your wake up. I want you to kind of be afraid. Um, not kind of. I want you to be afraid. right? So I already, I already got delayed to wake up on. So basically, um, this move is great. It replaces his um, his con cut. Well, this is the base move. The con cut replaces this. But it's great. It gives you good okey. You know, you can move a little bit before they can get up. So that, well, I mean, I have an undelayed wake up. But like... Point is, is that you can do stuff after this, right? So let's say you get this, you know they're gonna delay wake up, boom, right? That's unblockable. Especially if you know your opponent, you wanna get used to their tendencies and check and make sure you know what type of person they are. Do they like to wake up with uh, like up three, up two? Um, do they like to delay wake up all the time? Do they like to do the neutral jump? So what you wanna do is get a good read on their wake up game and you just want to play around that so if i know he wants to, to do that i do that and if he gets used to me doing this move and i know he wants to jump i might dash under an uppercut if i know he wants to neutral jump if i know he's going to jump forward i might back up and go for the standard one anti-air odds are you're going to get hit it's absolutely garbage this man swings at chest level and he's like seven feet tall it's like why why is this a thing like this isn't even an anti-air really i mean i don't know all I know is that if I was Liu Kang, I'd probably anti-air in Kotal Khan. I'm gonna know it's coming, but I'm gonna get hit. Maybe like, look, and I think it's slow too. It should probably like eight frames. It is eight frames. It should be. But look, it's something you can do. Maybe there's another anti-air that you guys can do. You could try to. Uh, I don't know. It should garbage. But look. I mean, best thing you can do probably is back up and just do that. But then this shit whiffs a lot of the time if they're like max distance or whatever. I mean, not on bigger characters, but on like smaller people, this shit will whiff. But um, yeah, you just want to get a good read on what they're gonna do on wake up. And let's say, all right, I get the knockdown. I know he's gonna um, he's gonna try to neutral jump. I might hit him with that, right? Just to knock him out of the air. I might be able to get the down one. Hold on. Let me set the, the thing to jump. I, I, I'm not good with navigating this shit, so. Movement. Is there a jump? Alright, boom. All right. So I'm setting the jump. So if I knock him down and it was to jump, uh, something like that, right? So. Oh, shit. So I said, knock him down. Oh, shit. It's, time. it's, time. it's a delay wave. It's a delay wave. Alright, right, whatever. Point is, say I knock him down. I know he wants to jump. Boom, boom, boom. Right, and get him out the air. Yeah, that's not happening. Okay, cool. You can catch him like that. Boom. Right, and if you know they want to wake up with a thing like a button or something like that, or like um, 
Like they might wake up down two, or they might wake up um, with an up three or up two. You can hit them with um, one of these, catch that, and then get get your crushing blow off of that. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a lot of things. What you really want to do is just make sure you know what's going on. So, with, with your opponent and how they wake up and... What the, what the problem comes in is where, like, if you have an opponent that's in content with st with getting up and blocking or if they're going to tech your grabs, but, like, if they tech your grabs, it's kind of good because he has crushing blows on both of his grabs. So, like, yeah, I wish that. Okay, you can do that. Maybe that's something I'm trying to do. But, um, yeah, like, if you know they're going to meter burn roll, you get up. I mean, that's a new thing. Right? Point is, I'm just gonna play a clip, and I'm gonna um not a clip, but like a game, I guess, where um I played Liu Kang, but the person, I knew that, I had a good feel of how they like to wake up and stuff, so I just switched to uh Kodo, and just bodied them on like their wake ups and stuff like that, and like if they want to jump too, like let's say um, I knock them down, that usually catches. Okay, all right, I knock this guy. Down. If they want to jump or something like that, you can catch them with that a lot of the time. So, Alright, it's not working right now. But look, it's a couple things you can do to get them out of the air. Like, look at that shit. It's garbage, boy. Like, that should have hit him. But look. That's it, man. That's all I really want to say. I don't want to over, over uh, speaking and stuff like that. I just hope I don't forget anything. I gotta go back. You know, you just wanna play play uh, the wake up game. That's really what you wanna do. When they delay, wake up, handle with this. If you know they wanna jump, wait for the standard one anti air. Um, if you know they wanna jump and they're far, you can get over that. Um, also, if you know they wanna jump in like a corner, you can do that. Um, and did I talk about the Sunray? Oh yeah, the Sunray is way better in this variation because you can put it on yourself. With the one, the problem with Ascension, let me get him from jumping. The problem with Ascension is you can't, you can only put it mid and far. But this one is like you can actually lame your opponent out. Like let's say you have the life lead and they just want to zone you until they even it out, or they just want to zone you for the rest of the game. You can stand back here, catch a couple projectiles, and then boom, throw them back or whatever. After you get your buff, hopefully you get the crushing blow. And you heal a lot, and then there's also the corner game where, like, if your opponent's had a life deficit, and let's say you just, like, they have, like, very low health, you can get, like, a jump in or something, and then go into this, right? And you know you're going to get hit regardless. It doesn't matter, though, because they're going to die to the sun ray. And then, like, let's say they, they, um, they kind of goof up or something like that, and you get this, and you block... And they're, and you, they're just burning in there, and you're healing in there, and if you get some pokes in, it really starts adding up. Like, you get, you say you get it like, oh my god, oh my god. You just, just start staggering, and even on block, like, some of the stuff is crazy. Yeah, that's basically it, man. The, 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 the sun ray and the other variation is absolutely garbage. I don't really use this, the totem, too much, because, um... Like I said, I try to test them. But I'll find some useful eventually. Like, I might do it for you. saw that way with just now? That's what I was talking about. But um, yeah, I'm just going to play the clip and talk over it and make this very quick. Damn, let me think. Let me look through the moves real quick just to make sure. No. Yeah, man, the parry. Parry catches everything. It's way better now. It's 10 frames before it was 14 frames, so you can actually react to shit with it. But, you know, it's, it's good. It catches all moves. Um, there's a few exemptions. Exceptions. Exemption. Alright, boom. So we in here. We start off with that. I thought he was going to back dash or something. Okay, got with a little high low. I know I can't parry that. I don't know why I did that sunray. That shit. I mean, I maybe I thought it wasn't gonna hit me. But he wasn't gonna do that right away. Okay. Boom. He tried to back dash there because it said counter. He's trying to create space. I thought he was gonna roll there, so I did that. I know he's scared, so I did that on the wake up. 
caught another back dash. He tried to jump out there. And look at he's squirming. Like he's not trying to stand. Look, I, and I did the sunray there because no matter what he did, he was going to bake in that bitch in that corner. So like, it is what it is. I don't even have to guess this. Like he's squirming. He doesn't want to get up and block. Oh, look at that. I probably was reading the slide there, but I still got the throw to the Oh, let's see what I do here. What am I gonna read? Oh my god, that was crisp. Like, I'm just catching him, man. Like, look, look at this. Like, the pressure is on. Oh, that would have been clean if I would have got that right there. Oh, got that though. And we're going on the roll. Like, run. Like, look how quick that is, bro. Like, you just gotta stay on their ass. Like, that's it. You gotta keep playing this wake up game. Keep making them guess. If they don't want to sit there and block, they're going to die. You just have to get the timing down. If you practice them enough and you get used to the, the different delayed wake-ups and stuff, like, try not to whiff that shit because if you whiff it, you're fucking done. Like, you whiffing for, like, 30, 30 decades. It's gonna, the round's going to end by the time you recover. But, like, if you get the timing down <laughs> and you get your opponents, you know what I'm saying, you'll be all right. So, that's, that's my opinion. That's how I uh, play... Kotal, that was like an uh, a optimal round. No, no, I don't want to say optimal. Yeah, yeah, I guess that, yeah, yeah, it's an optimal round. That's exactly how I want my games to go. Squirming people, people that don't want to block and make the right reads, and you can steamroll just like that. Like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, enjoy. Check out the Instagram for highlights.